one of the questions that we get asked the most often, most often is, is this the only market that you're in? Mm -hmm. Right. So I just think that that's such a neat story to be able to tell folks with the fact that like, sure, we, we could absolutely explore growing into another market, but I think that there's just something so telling about the fact that we're only here in Jacksonville and we've been here for so long doing the same thing. That is the experience that you want to hold on to and, and really trust in. So beyond that, it's with all of the experience that we've gained throughout this time, we have learned how this market plays yeah. right to our investor. And mm -hmm. going back to where goals are aligned, what would be a red flag is somebody saying, hey, I'm looking to get into a property, flip it, sell it next year. Yeah. Right. And then- yeah help me do that. Yeah. That that's not how again we're going to be able to best serve you. Mm -hmm. We want to build a portfolio for our clients for a growth a growth opportunity mm -hmm. that is known to succeed in any market, right? I mean, goodness yep. me, all of the data that you and Greg have been sharing about how this market performs throughout all different types yeah. of economies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What we are, we are proving, right? And we've got the data to back it too that this this market continues to be a success for real estate. Yeah. So we want somebody who believes in the growth potential that this market has to offer. Okay, let's dive into that. So right now we've identified passive, right? Now we're talking about, you've inserted a couple of other variables. Sure. One is timeline, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So like, this is not, you know, like we talk about on the show a lot, if you want to succeed in rental properties, it's about buying and holding for a full market cycle because then you get the five, Profit, Profit centers starting to play. So somebody that comes in here is like, you know, I just kind of want to park this money for two years, flip it, go do go, go do something else with it. You're probably going to send them a different way. There. We are. Yeah, yeah. because that that's just not, again, we want to hold our, our clients accountable to the return expectations mm -hmm. when we're talking through the five profit centers yeah. that we're putting in front of them on the front end. And to do that, to best yield those returns over the long run, you, you want to hold on to this asset for a full market cycle, mm -hmm. which we've been through a couple of those, right? Yeah. With our, our tenure here as a company. So you're never going to be the spaghetti that we throw on the wall and hope it sticks. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. And in order to not do that, you need time to even out cycles. Correct. Right. And like, and like different things. Right. So then passiveness, full market cycle, right? Like what is the timeline that you ask people to have in mind? We build it out. I mean, the full market cycle is between 10 to 20 years, mm -hmm. right? So we, we build out our internal rate of return, the IRR over a, a 10 year calculator on our evals. Cool. So it's, so you're telling people, all right, we want you to have a 10 year mindset mm -hmm. at the very least. At the very least. Right. That'd Which be at that point too, the assets only, only getting better. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. It's kind of like in 10 years, let's talk about this in 10 years. And you know that in 10 years, you're going to be like, what do you think? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So that that's actually Lee is saying exceed expectations, right? Under promise over deliver, which is one of the core values. Pod, baby. And it's like, you, oh, I never heard that before. You found, I like that. And that's one of those things like you're going to get to year 10 and maybe whatever happened in the first 10 years at that point, you're already going to be in this like over deliver range. So people are going to want to stay longer. Exactly. Hold on to it. Have other options of right. like not having to sell it because you can refinance and yeah, yeah. buy other things. So but when we're talking through on that, that first call, I mean, what, I, what we're getting at here is it it's not just the market, but it's time and market. Too. Time and market. Cool. So that's the other, that's the other qualifier. Passiveness, time and market. Let's talk about return expectations, mm -hmm. right? You're talking about a market and you said you want to be here for growth. I want to ask you what you mean by that, but what do you not mean by that? <laughs> like, like what isn't growth? So I, I think what we hear most often on those first phone calls is, you know, folks are coming in with a, a preconceived notion there. The theory does not exist anymore, but you'll hear the 1% the rule. The 1%, I was wondering. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the 1% rule or this, this cash flow. And it's not necessarily that if you are looking, let's say you are looking for $500 a month in cash flow with one property, mm -hmm. okay? It's possible. So it's not us saying that you don't have a gross mindset. This isn't going to work. <laughs> yeah. It's not a good fit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know what that was, but that's the sound. Sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> How do you spell that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's not necessarily that. It's like I said, what follow-up questions do we have now, right? So how much capital are you looking to put down on the property? Mm -hmm. So your down payment, are you looking to go cash finance or cash purchase? Or are you looking to finance the property? Mm -hmm. We can get you that amount of cash flow. It's just, how are we going to build your portfolio mm -hmm. to do that, right? So 
like I said, not necessarily a, a red flag that would lead us to not be able to say this is a good fit. We just want to ensure that the plan that we're putting together is able to help you meet your goals. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are looking to put 20% down, have one property conventionally financed, and you're looking for that much cash flow, then yes, we absolutely need to have that conversation with you to say that that's just not, not realistic yeah, yeah, yeah. for you to be able to achieve in this market. If you are looking for that asset that you can get into for a relatively low purchase price, mm -hmm. have that long-term mentality and let this thing grow like crazy for you. Yeah. That's when we're when we're saying defining growth. That's what we're yeah. we're looking for. So what I'm hearing is somebody that is they're coming to this market not because they're looking to maximize cash flow today. It means that they're looking to ca maximize cash flow and net worth tomorrow, Correct. kind of thing, right? Yep. So it's like you can engineer a portfolio through different levers to have a set amount of cash flow, but your overall philosophy is you want growth, correct? And you are looking to you're looking to take advantage of the fact that Jacksonville is one of the few markets where you can have positive cash flow, and it also has the best average home price appreciation than every other market that you can do. That. Yeah, I mean, and I think too, you know, one of the beauties of having this dedicated first phone call with folks when we get to do this on an individual basis and ask these types of questions, it's also really telling. If you are aligning yourself with a team that has the answers to the questions that you should be asking, mm. right? So when we're talking about manipulating numbers, again, we can make cash flow work depending on your down payment and your purchase method. But also, you just have to be very cognizant of what is and is not included in how other providers are calculating cash flow. Right. So when you are changing the appreciation rate and you're not going to use historical data, mm -hmm. that can very much change what your return expectations are. Mm -hmm. If you aren't including things like expected maintenance and vacancy, are those guarantees that we know is going to happen every single year? No, but they will happen. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're not naive to that. So you can manipulate that. You can manipulate all sorts of charges and costs and interest rates. Right. If you're not keeping up to date with current interest rates yeah. on pro formas, yep. that's greatly going to change your yep. your return expectation. So it just even if it's if we're identifying on that first phone call that we may not be the good fit, I hope we are also arming these individuals with the questions that they should be asking other providers to yep. know, okay, maybe it wasn't JWB, but now I'm a little bit more well versed in what I should be asking when I go elsewhere.